from the Computer History Museum in the heart of Silicon Valley. It's the Cube, covering food IT, fork to farm. Brought to you by Western Digital. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We're at the Food IT Show at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. We took a walk off the set to come over to the little expo area that they have set up. Some really interesting technology. We're really excited to have uh, Shami Patel on. He's the CEO of, from LumaGlow. Welcome. Hi, thank you very much. Absolutely. So you've been at this for a while. You've got a 10-year-old company. And tell us a little bit about what is LumaGlow. Sure. Uh, LumaGlow is a smart uh, LED lighting company that focuses exclusively on the horticulture sector. Uh, the intelligence is based on a smart fixture that's wirelessly connected that's tied to a cloud-based software solution. And you've got a little itty-bitty baby one here for demo purposes, but you say this is used at big scale, uh, manufa not manufacturing, big scale uh, horticulture. Yes, so our, our customers are primarily large scale greenhouse uh, growers, and they really leverage our solution, which allows the grower to uh, alter the spectrum to ch fundamentally change plant biology. So our customers include the USDA, who uses 1,200 uh, of our fixtures across multiple facilities. Uh, we currently have 25 customers in the cloud, so we're lighting 500,000 square feet of crops including cucumbers, basil, lettuce, and cannabis. So it's pretty interesting because you said um, you know, you're leveraging cloud, we love you leveraging all the stuff we talk about all the time, you're leveraging algorithms and you basically can change the light based on your algorithms to change the behavior in the way that the plant grows. That, that's correct, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, with, with our team of uh, close to a half a dozen plant biologists, we partner with universities as well as production partners to really understand the nuances of how the light can be used to achieve an economic objective of the grower. So in certain instances, we can change the, the root mass or the, the strength of the stock for early growers of, uh, in the propagation field, whether they're tomato propagators, cucumber propagators, or even plant. Uh, propagators, or we can also alter the fundamental biology of large-scale growers, whether they be vine crops, uh, to enhance yield and whatever their economic objective is. That's great. So you can change the algorithm based on the changing um, uh, economic objective, which might be different if they're trying to sell seedlings or trying to sell final product. You said even you can change the height of the plant, the width of the plant? A absolutely, right? So in certain instances, particularly in the early development of the plant, uh, you want to maintain some element of compactness, so you don't want ex aggressive branching, and you want to control the height, uh, particularly for propagators before you're transitioning that, that cloned or propagated plant into uh, production uh, uh, level growth. So, and then do you collect data from the local uh, plantings as well to validate your algorithms, change them, you know, adapt to the specific conditions of those particular uh, I guess grow house or, or greenhouse? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, LumaGrow is not a lighting company. It's, it's really a solution and services company. So we use our, our research team as sales support and we also provide an ongoing service uh, through our software to be able to continually grow with that that particular grower in some aspects right. to be able to deliver more and more value add. Ultimately what we're looking to do is create a broader ecosystem and a dialogue amongst farmers that are, that are non-competitive but can leverage off uh, similar findings uh, from, from how to use light as a growth variable. Right. And then do you integrate with the other systems like um, for the fertilizer, um, probably not a lot of worried about bugs and stuff, but for the fertilizer and for the irrigation and the water, do those systems tie into yours as light is just another component to again kind of maximize or drive the type of plant behavior that you're trying to achieve? Yes, absolutely. We can integrate with some existing control systems. Uh, obviously, when a, when a farmer wants to uh, evaluate the control of their crop, they want to make sure that they understand all the different growth variables, whether it's hydration, HVAC, and lighting. The unique aspect of, of our, our solution is we're putting in the infrastructure that with our cloud-based software to really be an IoT platform so that we can integrate additional sensors very efficiently, uh, or we can simply use uh, the, the plant as the sensor itself, be, being able to collect data downwards uh, by looking downward. We're uh, in the process of adding a light sensor uh, to our uh, platform, which we can retrofit with uh, existing customers to allow 
to create the ability to have a uniformity in terms of light coverage uh, at the crop level. Really interesting stuff. So just a little background on the company. You said you've been around for 10 years. Kind of where are you in terms of your funding? How many people? What can you share kind of about the state of the company? Sure. So the company's been around for 10 years, but we were recapitalized with a venture fund called Ecosystem Integrity Fund uh, within the last 18 months that did a Series B for us. And with that, we brought in a new management team and a focus uh, uh, and, a, and a shift on strategy to focus on research and software. Uh, we currently have close to 30 employees. Uh, we are growing. We're likely to double revenue from last year. And we are anticipating doing a C round sometime in the first quarter. All right. Well, exciting story. Really cool stuff. So uh, thanks for taking a few minutes and sharing your story with us. No, thank you very much. We're, we're uh, delighted to be here and, and enjoyed speaking with you. Thank awesome. you. All right. Shami Patel, the CEO of LumaGrow. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE from uh, food IT from fork to farm. Oh.